And the $64,000 question of the day is, how do we get Edmodo and Chromebooks and Google Apps for Education to play together nicely and to get them to work together in ways that really redefine learning for students? Hi, my name is Randy Fairfield, Mr. Ed Tech, and I'm a technology and instructional coach in the Richland School District. And today I'd like to tackle that, those two questions. Uh, I'm really, really passionate about Edmodo as a social learning platform. I'm a certified trainer and got to speak at EdmodoCon last summer about what Edmodo did for me to transform the culture of my classroom and to help me reach out and communicate with parents. And I'm also on my way towards becoming a Google certified trainer. One thing that really uh, pains me a bit is to see the number of teachers that are switching from Edmodo to Google Classroom simply because they don't see uh, how the two can work together, how Google Apps for Education and Chromebooks can play together nicely with Edmodo. Uh, and this pains me a great deal because the Edmodo platform is incredible to facilitate social learning, to connect with parents, um, to connect with other, other educators, uh, all the great things you can do with Edmodo as far as individualization and personalization. There's just some things that you can do with Edmodo that you can't do with Google Classroom. And so to switch from the one uh, to the other, uh, you know, man, there's other ways to go about doing that. So today I'd like to show you just how to do that. So one of the first concerns that teachers have about Edmodo as opposed to Google Classroom is the additional login. I want to show you something Edmodo has recently implemented to take care of that problem. So I want you to imagine you're a student, you're logged into a Chromebook right now, and you're about to log into Edmodo. This is what you'd see. You click the login button, and right there there's the option to log in with Google. So for a student that's already logged into a Chromebook, they don't have to do that additional login step. They simply click in log in here and then log in with Google and their Edmodo account is logged in. Awesome. Another concern that some teachers have is how do they take their files that are on their Google Drive and make them accessible to their students on Edmodo? Uh, so for example, here in my Google Drive, how do I get this stuff uh, over to my students? Well, one thing that Edmodo has recently done is really work on their Google Drive integration through the library. Check this out. So if I click on the library icon here, and then I go down here, I have three different options. One is the library. So if you directly uploaded your files to an assignment or a note, they're going to show up here in the library. Also, the quizzes that you created on Edmodo, those things show up here. You can also link up your Microsoft OneDrive, which I really don't use but you can link that up through the library and you can also link up your Google Drive through the Edmodo library as well. So check it, out, check it out right here. I've already connected mine and the process of doing so, if you haven't done so already, is so easy. You just click on Google Drive. There's a button that says connect to drive and if you're logged in with your Google account, it's a one step process. It's so easy. Um, so take a look. You can see here how mine is linked up as well. One thing that's great is you can search the library using the names of the files that are in your Google Drive to find stuff. So for example, if I typed in Civil War, uh, I can find my files in my Google Drive and my folders in my Google Drive about the Civil War. So you really wanna make sure that you're naming your files well in your Google Drive. So then when I'm going to go post a note or an assignment to Edmodo, uh, I can then pull something out of the library. So rather than just attaching a file or sharing a link, which I used to do on Google Drive. I used to take the file that I wanted to share, I'd right click on it and get the shareable link and then share that link uh, up on Edmodo. But Edmodo has made it so much easier because now I can just click on the library and from there click Google Drive, type in the name of my file without even having to sort through the folders of the files, type in Civil War, boom, there's the document that I wanted to attach to my assignment or my note right there attached to the note. Isn't that easy? And you might now be thinking, hey, Mr. Red Tech Guy, yeah, that actually was pretty easy, but how do I adjust the permission settings on my files to give my students the type of access I want to give them? For example, inside of Google Drive, when you right click and hit share, you can give permission to edit, comment, or view. So how do I do that with Edmodo? Well, one thing that I can show you here is when you go to post your assignment or note, 
from the library, then click on Google Drive. You can see here when you're picking your file, that option here says you can allow users that have connected their Google account to edit. Now, they don't have that option here within Edmodo for the copy of a file to be made or for students to be able to comment. The default is just that they'll be able to view. Uh, but being able to click this box here could be helpful uh, if you wanted your entire class to be able to edit a document. Granted, that's probably going to be pretty rare. And I will tell you the Edmodo team is working to add some of those other options that I just mentioned. In the meantime, what you can do is change the ac access on the file itself in your Google Drive to be what you want it to be. So if you give permission to edit, right here then when you link that file up on Edmodo it'll everyone will be able to edit it if you give permission to comment and you link it up through the library on Edmodo everyone in your group will be able to comment okay now one of the most common things that I've seen teachers wanting to do is with Google Slides and they want to have students working in groups of say four and five collaborative collaboratively on a Google Slides document so how can you set that up through Edmodo? Well, you can actually set it up really, really easily. And I'm going to show you how to do that using the small groups feature. So check this out. I've already set up a couple of small groups inside of my little testing demo land here. And I want to show you how to add a couple more. So I'm going to paint a scenario for you. Say I've got 25 students in my class and I want them to be working in groups of five in five different groups little math there. So if I click on group settings and I go to manage small groups, I can say new small group, group four, and new small group, group five. Okay. Now inside of these groups, what I could do then is make a copy of five of these files. So I could do copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, make five files, right? At the end of each file, I could add the a little extension that says to the file name that says dash group one, dash group two, dash group three. Then when I right click on the file and click share, I can say anyone with the link can edit. I'll then take that copy, which it would say, say group one at the end of the file name, then post that to group one as a, you know, as a note or as an assignment. Uh, I could use this link feature right here, okay? Or I can pull it out from the library like I just showed you, post that up to the small group link, uh, small group, and then everyone that's in that small group will be able to edit that file. I've done this numbers of times and it works great. Uh, so how do you get the kids into these small groups then? Well, if you click on members and then add members, you can then add members to the small group and you pick the five students from your class that you want to add to that group. So it's really pretty easy. Uh, again, I hope these suggestions help. Edmodo is continuing to improve their integration with Google Drive and Google Apps for Education every single day. Uh, you can already see the amazing things they've done with Office 365 this, over this last year and seeing the way things are going with their Google Drive integration and integration with Chromebooks, Edmodo is going to be the most amazing cross-platform solution. And of course, you probably already know about all the other th amazing things you can do with it as well. So I hope this tutorial helps, and let's continue to spread the hashtag Edmodo love. Mr. EdTech, checking out. Have a great day.